In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the Solemnity of Mary, Mother of God. Also, World Day of Prayer for Peace. Also, we begin a new year in honor and commemoration of St. Joseph, and we wish everyone a very happy and blessed New Year 2021. This Mass is being offered at the Chapel of the Catholic Center of the Diocese of Las Vegas, and we remember all of you and all of your intentions as you watch this Mass from your homes. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison, Christa eleison, Christa eleison, Kyrie eleison, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God, the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the fruitful virginity of blessed Mary bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, Grant, we pray, that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord, Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them, This is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites, and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. May God bless us in his mercy. 
May God bless us in his mercy. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon the earth, among all nations, your salvation. May May God God bless bless us in in his his mercy. May the nations be glad and exult because you rule the peoples in equity. The nations on the earth you guide. May May God God bless bless us in in his his mercy. mercy. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless us and may all the ends of the earth fear him. May May God God bless bless us in in his his mercy. Lectura de la Carta del Apóstol San Pablo a los Gálatas. Hermanos, al llegar la plenitud de los tiempos, envió Dios a su Hijo, nacido de una mujer, nacido bajo la ley, para rescatar a los que estábamos bajo la ley, a fin de hacernos hijos suyos. Puesto que ya son ustedes hijos, Dios envió a sus corazones el espíritu de su Hijo que clama Abba, es decir, Padre. Así que ya no eres siervo, sino hijo. Y siendo hijo, eres también heredero por la voluntad de Dios. Palabra de Dios. Aleluya, 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 aleluya. In the past, God spoke to us through the prophets. In these last days, He has spoken to us through his Son. Alleluia! 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The life of Jesus begins with Mary. Therefore, it is most appropriate 
that we begin the new year with the solemnity of Mary, the mother of God. Since Mary is the mother of God, she's also the mother of joy, joy to the world. And so the traditional greeting on the first day of the new year is also a greeting of joy. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to all of you. How many times have we already heard that greeting? How many times have we already offered that greeting? But was that greeting just a, a conven convention or was it a real wish, a, a prayer? Is it really possible to find happiness in the new year? I know it would be a mistake to expect perfect happiness in this new year 2021 or in any year. That in insatiable drive that we have for lasting happiness can only be satisfied in the next life, in the life to come. Remember that important question in the, in the Baltimore Catechism. Why did God create us? God created us to know and to love and to serve Him in this life so as to be eternally happy with Him in the next. What's happiness? Well, it would be a mistake to identify happiness simply with pleasure. Pleasure and happiness aren't synonymous. In fact, pleasure can be a cause of great unhappiness if we seek illicit pleasures and things that are evil. It would be a mistake to identify happiness with, with possessions. If things could make people happy, we here would be the happiest people in the world. And unfortunately, we begin possessing things and then end up with things possessing us. And that desire, that, that craving for things that we do not have can also be a source of so much unhappiness. The truth is, happiness is always a byproduct. What's happiness a, a byproduct of? What's happiness the side effect of? Well, the answer can be found in Bethlehem. So let's go to Bethlehem again. Let's look into the manger. Take your eyes away from the beautiful baby wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in the manger as he is in our manger before this altar. And let's look around. There are none of those things in which we seek happiness. No, no riches, no pleasures, no comforts, just an empty, cold manger, the outskirts of town. Now, Let's look at Mary and Joseph kneeling before the manger, standing beside the manger. They must be tired. They traveled about 75 miles from Nazareth to Bethlehem, either on foot or on the back of a donkey. They must be hungry. No real meal since they left Nazareth three days earlier. They must be cold in this damp cave in the middle of winter. It must have been very humiliating for them to discover that there was no room for them among their relatives and their ancestral home. In the midst of all that, Mary and Joseph are the happiest people on the earth. Here in Bethlehem, they are teaching us this amazing paradox that it's only when we lose ourselves in love and in service of Jesus do we find happiness. Happiness that this world could never give. 
how do we lose ourselves in the love and service of Jesus? Well, Jesus made it very simple for us. He gave us this word. Whatever you do for one of these least brothers and sisters, you do for me. So on this first day of this new year, 2021, let us make as our resolution through Mary, the mother of God, through St. Joseph, to know Jesus more intimately and to love him and to serve him and to help others to love him and to serve him. And then this will truly be a happy new year. Let us profess our faith together. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us turn now to the Lord and to offer him our prayers. That this new year 2021 may be a year marked by peace through the intercession of Mary, Queen of Peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear That this new year may be a time of healing, especially of the coronavirus, and that vaccines be safe, effective, ethically and morally prepared and available to all. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear that our various New Year's resolutions made this day include spiritual goals culminating in personal sanctification. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That the name Mary, the Mother of God, her first title proclaimed at Ephesus, always be on our lips as we beseech her maternal intercession. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In thanksgiving that our parishes may open up to larger numbers of the faithful in this Christmas season, allowing them to draw near to Christ through the sacraments, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That on this solemnity of Mary, the Holy Mother of God, as our silver jubilee, as the diocese comes to a close, we continue to grow in the ways of the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers we offer you on this New Year's Day. If they be in accord with your holy will for us and for our eternal salvation, our eternal happiness, we ask that you grant them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me of my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all of his holy church. O God, who in your kindness begin all good things and bring them to fulfillment, grant to us who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God, that just as we glory in the beginnings of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the solemnity of the motherhood of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. 
We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, George Leo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who Lord art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, come thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with one another the peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my life, but only say the word and my soul shall be.
Let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life. For we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of your Son and Mother of the Church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Before the final blessing of this Mass, I wish to thank all of those who participated in this Mass and made this Mass possible to to be broadcast into your homes. Uh, Raul Maldonado from the parish of St. Bridget in the Ministry of Lector and also coordinator for the Via Crucis Viviente. Let's pray that 2021 may be a year when we can resume that beautiful tradition over four city blocks throughout Las Vegas. Uh, Connie Clough from the Office of Faith Formation in the Diocese of Las Vegas, helping all of the parishes here in Southern Nevada. Deacon Rick Minch from the uh, parish of Our Lady of the Valley in uh, Pahrump, Nevada, always ready to assist at the Masses broadcast from the Catholic Center. And of course, Rick, uh, Jeff Mastro, who is uh, recording and uh, bringing this holy sacrifice into your homes. Blessed New Year, all. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks Thanks be to God.